listening to Angu Abulahi as he was essentially commanding Peter B to get on his feet and uh, answer his que questions. You would almost uh, think that uh, Ari, were that 12 Sharia states that separated from Nigeria from year 2020, year 2000, you would think that they are paradise on earth. These are the people that started uh, Boko Haram, just the corner Nigerian government. And they expanded it and uh, empowered Fulani terrorists who has been operating in the north, you know. And they now added uh, other terrorist groups in all the states, as well as um, ISIS coming in to join them under the Islamic State of West Africa province. These people have destroyed Nigeria. They have done asset stripping, selling off all the country's institutions to themselves. And... Uh, Developing institutions in Niger Republic. Government of uh, Boronu, I mean Bauchi, Bala Mohammed said that all Fulani are Nigerian citizens, that the Nigeria is open to them. Now, these people were asking Peter B of assurances. Assurances for what? For you not to set up terrorist groups? Assurances for you to kill others and survive? Assurances for you to carry out ethnic cleansing, genocide in the country? IPOB, yes, Ndibo, have completely questioned the role IPOB is playing in the life of our people, including the recent claims and the ESN and uh, all whatnot, unknown government, including those captured in the bush eating human flesh with IPOB and the Biafra flag and the paraphernalia all around them. And then IPOB turns around and denies who they are. They are not part of us. They are not our members. Whose members are they? Who is fooling who? Now, IPOB exists because of Nigeria. It is Nigeria that gave birth to IPOB. It is Nigeria that has terrorized our people. It is Nigeria that created so much injustice. It is Nigeria that has stolen the mandate, the, the sovereignty of our people that created IPOB. IPOB will be checkmated in a new imagined nation that will have rule of law as a, its guiding principle, not Nigeria. Ndibo does not want the election of Peter B. Ndibo wants Nigeria that is sorted out first through multi-regional referendum. That's what Minas is talking about. Why, why is it that our people are not getting it? I mean, we cannot do it another way. Any other way is wasting our time. We're, we're buying time and we cannot survive that way. So the only option... And that is what 99% of Ndibo are asking. Peter B belongs to 1%. That percentage includes Chukwe uh, Mekezife, uh, Mbazulike, uh, a few number of them. The thieves, Rocha Sokoro, Chaudhu Zokal, those criminals, Chris Ngige, a huge disappointment to Ndibo. A lot of these politicians are self-serving. They are not serving the interest of Ndibo. So that's not what Ndibo are asking for. What Ndibo are, ask, are demanding is referendum. Let's go for referendum to find out where Nigerians stand, including Middle Belt and Dodua. Anything else is a waste of time. In fact, the Absa people should vote to know whether they want to stay with Fulani or not. That's where the issue is. Not Hakim Baba made a Mauritanian telling us how things will be in our own country. God forbid.